This week we're mounting encrypted volumes so we can perform maintenance on protected operating systems. This episode of Tech Shop is brought to you by Dyn and GoToMeeting. Welcome to episode 56 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. This week, we're taking a look at mounting fully encrypted hard drives that are protected by TrueCrypt so we can modify files in the protected operating system. Last week, we showed the dramatic performance difference between TrueCrypt and CompuSec, but this week, I'm going to show you why I had chosen to use TrueCrypt in the first place. Many of you don't want to use encryption in your work environments because you won't be able to do offline file recoveries or password resets on local user accounts, right? I know because I worked in many environments like that myself. The desktop guys didn't want to have the added trouble and complications of encryption. Well, the cool thing of TrueCrypt is that if you have TrueCrypt installed on a live DVD, like we do on Bowerpuntu Linux, for instance, you can mount fully encrypted hard drives as long as you know the TrueCrypt bootloader password so you can modify files and perform your maintenance. I, of course, will show you how to do that right after this. You want faster internet, right? You want your websites to load quicker, and you want to make sure that if your DNS provider goes down, that you have a secondary route to your website. That's where Dyn.com comes in. With outsourced DNS, you can make sure people can get to your website at all times. With managed DNS, you can even connect items like your webcams or DVR to a private channel that you can pull from at any time. Most important, Dyn is in the middle of a switch to IPv6. Dyn is ahead of that game and has complete support for IPv6. It's simple. Get faster internet by using Dyn for DNS. Simply visit dyn.com slash podcast30 and fill out the contact form. Or start shopping right away and save 30% by using the promo code PODCAST30 at checkout. Once again, visit dine.com slash podcast30. I believe successful teamwork is the foundation for successful business. And when you meet face-to-face, you work more efficiently. But with clients and coworkers spread out across the globe and on the go, coming together can be impossible. That's why I use GoToMeeting with HD Faces, the powerful and simple way to meet and collaborate online from wherever you are, whenever you need to connect. With GoToMeeting, it just takes a click to share your screen and work on the documents in real time. And with webcam, you can see everyone in HD video. It's just like meeting in person. It's so easy to launch or join a meeting from anywhere using your computer, phone, or tablet. Heck, you can even present from your iPad. At my company, we use GoToMeeting all the time, and you should be using it too. Try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. Don't wait for the special offer. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, Use the promo code PODCAST. Be sure to use the promo code PODCAST so they know that Tech Shop sent you. Go to meeting. Meeting is believing. In the first part of the show, I mentioned one of the benefits of using TrueCrypt at your office is that you can use a live DVD like Bauer Punty Linux to mount the encrypted drive if you know the password to decrypt the volume. So let's take a look at that. First, you boot your encrypted laptop up using the Bauer Punty 12.10 live DVD. You navigate to Accessories, TrueCrypt, and open it up. Next, you select one of the open mount points, then select your encrypted device. On my laptop, it was Dev SDA2. Then you click Mount, Options, then select Mount Partition using System Encryption, Preboot Authentication. Enter your password, and click OK. Now your encrypted laptop drive will be mounted and you can now access the protected operating system to do the maintenance you need. That's it. So as you can see, you can still have your encryption on your company laptops to improve security while still being able to perform the desktop maintenance that you're used to. That's it for this week's episode. As always, if you have any questions or something to say, sound off in the comments below or hit us up on our Facebook page. Remember, we have new episodes every week, so be sure to like, fave, subscribe, and we'll see you next time right here on Tech Shop. Tech Shop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here.